Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm just gonna do a simple get ready with me. I'm just moisturizing my lips. I've got a weird spot, guys. I am so ready for like autumn time. So I wanted to do, um, I wanted to kind of recreate the look that I did in my previous video because a lot of you requested a makeup tutorial on it. And I just really love that look, but I'm gonna change the base stuff um, but the eye would be a bit similar. Before we jump into the video though, I'm gonna give my post notification shout out for today. Today's one goes to Layla Ann, so thank you so much for your sweet, sweet comment. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. I'm, I've already done one brow, kind of. I know I look crazy, but I wanna do my hair afterwards. I'm in a rush, like I've literally got an hour to do this look, you know, film and everything. Anyways, so right now I'm using on my Brow Contour Pro by McBenefit, this is in, brown medium and I use the lighter brown and I'm kind of like shading the front a bit very roughly and then I take the darker brown and do the tail every time I do this um, I use this brow pencil like my brows look amazing so it might be and then I always get a spoolie because this doesn't come with a spoolie and I kind of brush out the edges. So then I take the definition shade in this pencil which is the darker highlight shade and I kind of carve my brow. And I take the lightest one and I do the arc. And then I use a flat brush. Kind of blend those edges. Then I grab some of my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And this stuff is just like glue for your brows and I just you know set my brow hairs with this. If I don't put this, then my brows just go in all directions. I recently got this Hydro Boost Neutrogena SPF Moisturiser. This has SPF 25 and it's a City Shield Hydrating Lotion and it boosts hydration, protects against pollution and sun damage. And I absolutely love the Hydro Boost range by Neutrogena. Like if you have dry skin, it's so good. Like I really like the um, face wash. But anyways, I'm just gonna put this all over. It's such a soft moisturizer. I actually love this. And it's so affordable as well. Well, I'm just putting a little bit of my Embryo Release moisturizer just around my nose because my nose is super dry lately. I'm then gonna use some of my Honey Dew Me Up Primer by NYX as my primer. Primer. This primer is so good, I love it. My skin's now prepped and for foundation, actually I've showed my eyes first. I think I should maybe. Yeah, I think I should. Okay, I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as always um, for my base. I'm just gonna pop some on my lids. All right, so then for my palette, I'm gonna use the Topaz Obsessions Huda Beauty palette. These palettes are so good, like so pigmented. And this just, like, this is definitely my favorite out of all of them. And I wore this in my previous video and I don't know, it was just so easy to work with. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how I did the look. So I first took this shade right here. I'm just gonna blend this. Blending this in the crease. I don't know, these eyeshadows are so easy to work with. I think they're actually better than the original like mini obsession palettes she made. Because these are just so pigmented, so easy to blend. Whilst the other ones I did kind of struggle a little bit. I remember I really liked the the purple one, but you know, it doesn't show up this much on my um, eyes. I'm just blending away. Okay, so I'm now taking this beautiful like mustard shade and I'm just going to put this um, just above that crease colour. It's just going to help that colour blend a little bit. Just a little bit more and it gives like 
it gives kind of like a beautiful sunset transition as well i'm also taking the darkest brown in the palette and i'm going to blend this on the outer corner and have you guys missed chi chi meowing in the background okay so now i'm mixing these two shades right here and i'm gonna apply this all over the lid I'm using my fingers because I found that, you know, it just works better on my finger, like so much better. What you can do is wet a flat brush, oh, you can wet a flat brush afterwards and then just pop a bit more just to intensify it. I feel like this has to be one of my favourite palettes, like it's actually so beautiful, it's like, it's just me in a palette, I guess. Okay, so these days I've had to um, curl my lashes because my lash lift is starting to go down. I think it's been well over two months now. Or just under two months. I have to double check when I did it. I'm going to check now actually. Because I know a lot of you are going to ask. So I did it the 7th of August, so it's been like a month and a half. Almost two months, actually. I'm just going to put my um, Falsies Push-Up Mascara by Maybelline. I really love this mascara. Um, but with regards to a lash lift, I don't think I would do it again unless I'm going on holiday. Because it's actually so convenient for that reason. But because I love wearing like falsies, it was very difficult for me to apply them. Like I've been avoiding them to be honest because they're so difficult to put on. Um, I do have to say like my lashes were breaking. Obviously it's like a perm product but I knew it was going to damage my lashes some way or form. But yeah, it, def it definitely broke some. But So just be wary of that. Um, but I'm quite fortunate that my lashes grow really quick. I think that's the only downside to it, I guess, but it's so pretty, like, especially when you don't have any makeup, it's really nice. And it's really helpful in the beginning when you, you, when you put mascara on, you don't have to, like, curl your lashes every two minutes. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. For foundation, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, and I use the shade Cardamom. This is actually a very good match for me right now. Let's try not to get any on my white top. There was any there wasn't really any fallout with the shadows by the way. I'm using the Kat Von D number 10 brush. It's actually really good to blend your foundation. I think this is really good, especially if you have a matte foundation that's not very easy to blend. It's really soft as well, but quite firm at the same time. Okay, so then for concealer today, I was going to do a review on it, but I'm just going to include it in a video. Um, I'm going to use the Sleek Life Proof Concealer. Um, I've been testing these out the past few days, and they're actually these are actually really nice. I mix the shade Hazelnut Frappe and Ristretto Bianco. Wow, those are long names, but yeah, I mix the two. The only thing I have to say about them is that the um, applicator is super tiny, like, I've never had an applicator like this. But it's really good if you want to like highlight your nose. <laughs> um, they definitely don't crease on me, but um, a good coverage. I'm just going to use my brush. I tried it with the Beauty Blender and it seems to work fine as well. I wouldn't say like it's full full coverage though, it's more of like a medium to full. Like it's definitely not like sharp tart shape tape, but I kind of like that it's not like full full. And it's not cakey, it's actually very comfortable. So easy to work with. And I've tested out like for hours in a day. I remember I had the longest day ever. And this stayed on pretty well.
I'm going to use my Fast Base Concealer by Makeup Revolution and this is in C14. Okay, so with these I really do like to use a stippling brush and they just like blend really effort effortlessly. Using a brush to blend the edges. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. It looks like a mess right now, but I just really love it, okay? So lately I've just been liking to just pack it on my under eyes rather than bake. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer. I'm trying to finish this actually, so that's why I keep using it. This is in 35i, but it's also a really good bronzer as well. Like, so easy to blend. Like, this never gives me hassle, honestly. And I'm gonna use some of my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. Again, another thing I'm trying to finish right now. So I've been using this almost every day. I just have too much makeup, guys. I can't finish it. Like I end up giving so much away. I'm glowing. I've also been loving this sleek highlighting elixir. This is in the shade Poppin Battles. And what I do is I just put some on the back of my hand. It's kind of like a champagne color. It's really pretty. And I kind of warm it up on the back of my hand. And then just pop a little bit on my cheeks. gives this nice wet glow to the skin and this doesn't look ashy on me which i really really like so i'm just going to use my smashbox primer water just to set everything in place and i'm going to grab my little eyeshadow palette again and put some of the crease color that we use underneath i actually hate it when i'm in a rush Okay, and then for lips, I was recently sent this lippy by Sleek. It's actually a metallic lip and I really wanted to try it. This is It's called the Matte Me Metallic um, Lipstick. Electroplated Nude. Let's see if this is going to suit me. It's actually really pretty. Whoa. Wait, I need a lip liner. I'm using my NYX brown lip liner, as always. Alright guys, so this is the finished look, I guess. I hope you guys like it. I'm just trying to fix this. Uh, fix my... Oh, wait, 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 wait. How can I not do my inner corner highlight? I'm going to grab this shade right here, which is a beautiful gold. And I guess I'm just going to... I like with my finger finger all right okay so I'm just gonna do my hair and get dressed and I'll be right back okay so I am now finished I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I'm definitely feeling awesome right now give this video a big like if you didn't enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video